Welcome to another edition of Lazing is Amazing with the I Plus from BioLaze. I'm Dr. Glenn Vanass, and today we're going to discuss the removal of an infected upper right central incisor. This tooth has a failing endodontic um, uh, problem, and um, first we decide to do some tissue plasty on a phrenectomy. You can see here we're using 2.5 watts, 50 hertz, with a MZ5 tip to just remove some tissue on the frenum. We're then going to afterwards do a phrenectomy to, to allow for greater movement of the lip and to uh, release the frenum. We're using the same tip, same settings. We're just going to do a very small um, frenal release here with the same tip. Pulling on the lip, that's the key. With your left hand, if you're holding a hand key through the right hand, pull with your left hand, and in doing so, you're able to uh, release the, the fibers and gain greater movement of the upper lip. The central incisor tooth number eight, or tooth number one, one in this case, were, had class three mobility and was very loose, and so it needed to be removed. So we're using here a micro blade, a small surgical blade, it's used in ophthalmics to release the uh, gingival cuff around that tooth. We're removing the loose fragment, which in this case was just the crown, and here you can see the retained root. It's at this point where the laser comes in handy. Using an MZ5 9mm tip, we can froth around the root at 4 watts, 50 hertz, with lots of water. What we want to do is we want to go in a sewing needle type fashion, up and down, to create a point of leverage around the wall for either an elevator or in this case something called a proximator. The tip is used in a sewing needle fashion to create a space where leverage can be obtained. You can see again here as we work with the tip, going up and down. And here are the proximators. These are made by Carl Schumacher. I used a straight one. They look like a, uh, an instrument that will create some leverage. And I'm just gently moving the roots, both mesial and distal, and also uh, gently trying to create some movement. Afterwards, we can take a serrated forcep, something that uh, will allow us to grab a hold of the root. This is another function of the laser. We need a little bit of soft tissue around the cuff of the tooth to be able to uh, allow you with your root tip forceps, you can see they're serrated here, to get a hold of the root. And with twisting, no buckle movement to shadow any buckle plate, with twisting and rotation, we're able to remove this root gently in an atraumatic fashion. In this particular case, there was no buckle plate remaining because of the uh, infection, and the decision was made to not place a graft, as you can see, but to socket graft to site. And the laser again becomes handy for doing two things degranulating and disinfecting the site. The same tip, an MZ5, can be used to remove any remaining granulation tissue that is in the socket to clean it up. Dr. Ed Kusick has done some nice research on this. You can see the tooth here that is remaining, and here we see some soft tissue at the top of the tooth that we're removing gently with the laser, three and a half watts, copious amounts of water, 90% water, 80% air, and just removing any of the granulation tissue in the socket that is remaining. In addition to using the laser, I often will use a serrated curette from Do Well, and this helps to remove any of the granulation tissue that's within the socket. Magnification helps immensely to see inside the socket and see whether it is clean. The laser removes granulation tissue and disinfects, and at this point we're ready to place a barrier membrane. This is a non-resorbable collagen membrane from uh, site of uh, osteogenics. And here's Encore, 70% uh, mineralized and 30% demineralized bone. Membrane is folded over, tucked underneath on both the buccal and the lingual, and a crisscross PTFE suture closes the site. Provisional, in this case an Essex retainer was fabricated not touching the ridge. And you can see here the immediate post-op result. I want to thank BioLanes again as usual for uh, all their help and I want to thank you for watching and 
This is Dr. Glenn Vanessa saying goodbye.